welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be continuing with our Sinistry series. The Sinistry series overlay that we're going to be talking about in this video is the Sinistry of having your moon fall into your partner's fourth house. So before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys to please, if you do like the video, please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please also do subscribe to the channel. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into this video. Having your moon fall into your partner's fourth house is a very, creates a very soothing and um, comfortable connection to have with someone. As the fourth house is of course, the house that's ruled by the nurturing water sign of Cancer, which is a sign that's also ruled by the moon. The moon is very much um, at home, you know, in the fourth house. With this overlay, they can very easily form a very natural and easy emotional connection between the two partners. And they don't have to try too hard to understand each other on an emotional level. They just simply get each other. These are the kinds of partners who are really able to just feel each other and also feel for each other. Sometimes they can even take on or adopt each other's feelings, almost as if they mirror each other on an emotional level. This bond tends to be highly intuitive and it's really felt on a soul level. Needless to say, there is an extremely strong emotional connection and bond between these two partners and they are just very much connected and attuned to each other's feelings. And this is very, quite a beautiful thing. This connection actually has the great potential to truly stand the test of time because these two lovers are bonded on an emotional and intuitive soul level that only they can truly understand. It's their own special thing. It's a very special connection that's unique to them. It's also possible that this could be the kind of couple that's very much um, a homebody type of couple. They really like being at home together and even just building a home together. This is also a very great placement for creating genuine intimacy just because it tends to come very naturally with this overlay. Usually what we see with this overlay is that both partners in the connection tend to be quite willing and um, don't have a lot of difficulty around opening up and being vulnerable with each other. And this really does encourage um, feelings of safety and secureness between the two partners because they both are willing to give their hearts to each other openly and they're emotionally vulnerable. The chemistry also tends to be very good between these two partners and it occurs so naturally and very quickly. From the first moment that these two partners come into um, meeting, they, there is already a, a chemistry there that's just it's like a spark that just is there already naturally from the beginning. The two partners in this connection, they tend to be very affectionate with each other and they are willing to give over their hearts without erecting any walls against each other. You know, it's just something about this overlay and the influence of the moon and the fourth house together that really encourages partners to be open and vulnerable with each other and feel safe and they tend to be extra caring and super sensitive towards each other and how they handle each other's feelings. So I would say that the only potential downside that could come with this overlay is that it's possible that in some cases it can foster a slight form of emotional codependence or a sort of enmeshment, emotional enmeshment that could occur if partners are not careful. There's just so much emotions involved and emotional sensitivity when it comes to this overlay because we have the moon and we have the fourth house. So it's not unlikely that if the connection is not nurtured correctly, this connection could become a bit emotionally turbulent. 
generally speaking in astrology we talk about the moon as um as synonymously as being sort of like a planet so the moon is quite a fast moving planet in the solar system as it changes signs frequently and quite quickly compared to other planets so if there's an afflicted um, moon in this overlay what could happen is that there could be some issues that arise in this relationship as a result of things like moodiness and in some cases just emotional instability especially if the moon is negatively aspected in the relationship these are things that could really impact the relationship quite negatively so another issue in this um, overlay could be in the case where partners could sometimes start to make decisions that are based primarily on instincts or feelings and this can sometimes prove to be quite um, irrational behavior while it's always good to value things like instinct and feelings it can sometimes if in the extremes this overlay can sometimes prove to be almost it almost has the potential to kind of cloud one's more reasonable judgment if taken to the extremes these partners tend to choose each other um, instinctively, not particularly based off of any sort of merit. So the connection can really be one of those like love at first sight type of connections. The reason why this could happen is because the fourth house is a house that's very much associated with our childhood and um, what's familiar or comfortable. So in the case of this overlay, what could happen is that these two partners usually have something that they share that's very similar particularly in terms of their upbringing or their childhood they may have something very similar in that regard this is something that may or may not be known consciously by the two partners it could be a feeling of familiarity but this feeling is something that's very it could even be on a subconscious level so they would not even realize it but there's just something familiar about the partner, their partners. So when um, they meet each other for the first time, there's a feeling of familiarity that gets triggered and it instantly causes the partners to instinctively be drawn towards each other and attracted to one another such that they each choose each other. So a good example to illustrate this could be it's possible that one partner could possess certain characteristics, traits, or qualities that are very similar to the other partner's mother. Naturally, that partner would possess an air of familiarity to their partner, particularly because that partner reminds them of their mother in some way. So then on a subconscious level, this may create um, a pull towards that partner or just attraction may form and so these partners would be just drawn towards each other based off of that feeling of familiarity that exists and it's exactly this thing that goes a long way in causing the partners to just instinctively trust each other from the get-go without there really being any obvious reason as to why they should trust each other they just instinctively do it's clear that this connection isn't particularly a practical or a rational connection instead it's very much based on intuition and instinct and emotion and felt or it's, it's a feelings based connection so it's not unlikely that this connection would mostly make a lot of sense to the two people who are in the connection it would make more sense to them rather than to any outsiders looking at the connection from outside in it's just a really special bond that only the two partners really truly understand it's so unique to them another unique and special thing about this bond is just how the communication is not even always spoken communication it's just so intuitive the two partners really get each other they don't even they can feel each other they don't have to talk too much this is in fact that kind of overlay that really creates for the kind of relationship where it's just so deep that it can foster 
unconditional love. The partners are just willing to see the best in each other and they adore each other and they tend to choose each other unconditionally. Which is why this overlay can also be quite great for a long lasting and enduring marriage. Because the love is just so unconditional and the partners are willing and able to forgive each other if need be. And ultimately, this overlay is the overlay that really can prove the definition of love conquers all. It can really truly withstand through many storms, ups or downs, and ultimately it can really stand the test of time. And so it's a really beautiful connection to have. That does it for this video on having your moon fall into your partner's fourth house. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please do hit that like button. Please don't be shy to leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought of the interpretation or what your views are when it comes to this overlay. If you've ever had it with someone or your experiences with it, um, let us know. And also if you haven't done so already, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you guys. We'll see you in our next video where we'll be talking about having your moon fall into your partner's fifth house. So stay tuned for that. This is where I love and leave you guys. I hope you have a good one, guys. Bye.